Do you want to learn about free things to do in Naples? Stay tuned. And now we are arriving in Naples. I cannot wait. <laughs> Our free things to do in Naples tour is going to be free things to do walking distance from downtown. So we're not taking any subway, bus, taxi, nothing, just walk. But yeah, you're right. We are not going to be taking any buses, trains, planes, or anything like that. There are things to do for free in Naples, but those require transportation. These are completely free and completely walking distance. All right, let's go. These folks have our first three things to do in Naples. Spacanapoli, as we told you. This super long road is super straight and its uh, origin is from the Roman time. Over time, became like a medieval road and then a modern road for Naples. It's beautiful to walk around. There's lots of stores that sell like pastry, coffee, souvenirs, and everything you want. And at night, it's super popular between people to go for to grab some food and walk around. So let's go. You know, Naples has such a bad reputation, but I love this city because it's like a huge party town. And on the same topic, people ask me all the time, is Naples safe? And my answer is yes, Naples is very safe. It's like any other big city, you have to be careful with your belongings, but it's the same in London, it's the same in New York, it's the same everywhere. The only thing that's a little dangerous in Naples is traffic. That's you right. Be careful when you cross the street because they're pretty aggressive. Yes. Other than that, you're perfectly safe. Good advice. Another incredible thing in Naples is this coffee. They have some of the best espresso you can find in Italy. And this bar is actually quite famous because it's a big fan of Diego Armando Maradona. And you can see there's Maradona memorabilia almost everywhere. Napoli, che eccezionale. Yes. Grazie. Now one of the things that Naples is absolutely famous for is pizza and their desserts. And there's no shortage of places for desserts here in Naples. Here what we have is a baba with some chocolate and cherries. It's kind of like, kind of like a German black forest, only Italian style. However, you'll never find it if you, if you just look for it. You have to ask. Another thing you have to know about Naples, the Napolitani people are very superstitious, incredibly superstitious. They love superstition. And Horn, horns like this are good luck. So you can see these all over the place. You have to buy something, you have to buy one of these and give it as a gift to someone else for good luck. So let's go buy something. Remember, he said gift. Why, thank you. And this is another free things to do in Naples. This street is called San Gregorio Armeno, and here is world famous for a big nativity scene figurine. You can buy every kind of figurine you want here, from old to modern. Let's go take a look. So here are like typical nativity scene, and these are more modern. We have the queen, we have Pino Daniele, we have some soccer player, it's everyone. So I just met with this really nice lady. Unfortunately, she was a little bit shy. She didn't want to go with camera, but actually she's been making these cornos since 1945. Can you believe that? And here we have another funny one, Prince Harry completely naked. <laughs> Next on our list of free things to do in Naples is the Duomo. The Duomo is this beautiful church behind me. It's completely free to go in. 
However, if you want to see the museum of the of the treasury, is you have to pay. But the church is free. Inside of the church, there's the remaining of the dry blood of San Gennaro, which is the saint patron of Naples. And three times a year, they take the blood out and they show it to the public and the blood miraculously liquefied. According to legend, if it does not liquefy, something terrible happens to Naples. This, the Duomo of Naples it was built on top of a Paleo-Christian church. And before that, the, the Paleo-Christian church was built on top of some Greek ruins, so it's incredibly old. Let's go take a look. Now, you, this might be a new thing, but, you know, dryers don't exist everywhere in the world, and they certainly are not famous in Italy. As you can see behind me, people just air out their dirty laundry, I mean, their clean laundry, out in the streets. How cool is that? For our next three things to do in Naples, here it is, it's the statue of Pulcinella. As you can see, the nose is very shiny. Why? Because you have to rub the nose and it's good luck. Last time we did it, we won 1,700 euros at the lottery, so I'll rub it twice this time. And I will rub it as well. <laughs> And for our next three things to do in Naples is the market of Pigna Secca. This area is famous for a market. It's here every day and it's lots of fun. You can find like uh, cheap clothes and food and stuff. It's like lots of fun to walk around and take a look. Now, here inside the marketplace in Naples, you know, uh, this is really quite interesting. Right behind me, you that might be wonder, what is that? It's actually tripe. It's a local delicacy here in Naples. And what they do is they have water that's mixed with lemon, and they have it drip right on the, on the body parts. <laughs> I tell you, this would give the Chinese and the Cantonese a run for their money right here in Italy. Well, folks, we just stopped for uh, like some lubrication, and look how big of a glass they have. <laughs> well, cheers! Cheers! And the next thing on the list of free things to do in Naples is... The Galleria. This beautiful Galleria has lots of stores and places to sit down for a little cocktail or a drink or a bite to eat. And there's a beautiful place over there that sells dessert and you must try it. It is so good. It's called so Mary good. and you gotta go there. Sfogliatelli, Sfogliatelli Mary is amazing. Let's go take a look. Beautiful pastry are called sfogliatelle and they have cream inside made of ricotta cheese. They're delicious and they have a secret ingredient to make them super crispy and super good. Lard. You know, this is exactly what I love about Naples. You can't really explain it. It is such an alive city. There's people everywhere. It's amazing. You have to come here.
And for our next three things to do in Naples, here in Via Toledo. Via Toledo is the main drag for shopping and to people walk around and get a, grab a bite to eat. And another good thing about this area is completely car free. So it's only pedestrian. So you can walk around in the street and enjoy yourself. And this is next three things to do in Naples, Piazza Plebiscito. This beautiful piazza is the Royal Palace in the background, which is here, and the Church of San Carlo over there. It's a beautiful piazza, there's lots of events, and it's just beautiful to walk around. And here I am in front of the Royal Palace, and as you can see, there are statues of the past kings of Naples, from medieval times all the way to more modern times. Next on the list of free things to do in Naples is come visit the Royal Gardens at the Palazzo Reale of Napoli or the Royal Palace of Naples. You can come here, stroll if you want. As you can see, there's people here with their dogs, they're just out for a little walk, just like the kings and queens once did. How cool! Now, as you're strolling around the gardens, you might be wondering what's inside this beautiful palace. Well, it's not exactly free, you can pay a little bit to get inside, but you can get to go and visit the entire palace on your own and, and live like the king and queen once did. Feeling regal much? Well, what do you think of the Lungomari here in Naples? Isn't it spectacular, especially on a day like today? So let us know in the comment below what you think about this beautiful Lungomari. And if you like this type of video, please hit the, the subscribe button so you would never miss any future video. That is great advice. And as you can see in the background, we have Mount Vesuvius. And while on the Lungomare, there's another free thing to do in Naples, Castel del Luovo. This beautiful medieval fortress is completely free to visit. The inside is a bit bare, but the view from there is quite spectacular. So let's go take a look. According to legend, this castle was built on top of an egg. And that's why it's called Castel del Luovo, because uovo means egg in Italian. And according to legend, if the eggs ever crack, then Naples is going to be in danger. Another thing that you have to keep in mind when you visit this castle, as you can see, there's lots of stairs. So if you have a mobility issue, that's the way. So, as we told you, the castle inside is a bit bare, but the view from here is quite spectacular. So you can see here the island of Capri down there, the Sorrento Peninsula down there, and the whole Gulf of Naples. It's quite spectacular. And right by the castle, there's this other beautiful area called Borgo Marinaro, or the, the village of the fishermen. 
and uh, now is a great place to go for a seafood dinner. There's lots of restaurants right on this ocean. It's quite big. You can also rent a boat here um, and go around the castle for about 20 euros. Unfortunately, it's a bit cold for that, so we won't do it. But it's something you can do. We are in Piazza Martiri, another beautiful area of Naples. It's a perfect area to go for a stroll because it's uh, full of like high-end stores and designer clothes. It's absolutely, absolutely spectacular. Not entirely free to shop, but it's free to walk around. All right, for this next free thing to do in Naples, come to the Quartieri Spagnoli. It means the Spanish Quarter. Now, a lot of people have said, you know, is, is Naples dangerous? Well, not in the way that you think. What you have to be careful of is, you know, is the ground. Sometimes you have to look where you're going because there could be stuff on the ground, there could be things like that, but Naples is fantastic. It is crazy. And when you're here, definitely come to one of these local shops and have a coffee or something to eat because you will not have a coffee like you will have here in Naples. Well, this is not exactly a free thing to do in Naples, but it's almost free. At one euro ten, you can take the the metro to to or from or just go to the Toledo station and see these beautiful mosaic tiles that make you sort of feel like you're in a in an igloo or something. Definitely take a look. So good, <laughs> so fluffy, it's amazing. <laughs> and by the way, this is not free, but you must try pizza when you're in Naples. Venite a Napoli a trovarci, San Gregorio Armeno. La Pomodoro a Via Tribunale. Come to see us. Right. Bye, ciao. What do you think of all of the free things to do in Naples? Which one was your favorite? Absolutely, leave a comment below. We'd love to read from you and we'd love to reply. Exactly. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll never miss one of our future videos. Excellent idea. Bye. Bye, guys. So remember the other day we rubbed the nose of the statue here in the Tribunale? Guess what? We won $5.26 at the lottery. Not bad. I'm going to go and rub it again.